one iPhone. The guy who got it had been waiting in line for 12 hours. Wow. <laughs> um, Santa Rosa, they were actually taking people who had reserved theirs first and then kind of randomly choosing the people who had been waiting. Uh, randomly wait. choosing them. Or, you know, they were in line, but they would kind of just every 10 or 20 people with reservations, they would put those in and then maybe one out of the people who didn't have a reservation. Wow. And that line was the longest. It was actually started at, at the front of the Apple Store, all the way out the mall. Is this so. the one uh, in the uh, in the mall there? Yeah, in the yeah. mall in Santa Rosa. That's a little Apple Store. That's it not is. a big Apple yeah, Store. Yeah, it's a small Apple Store. Hmm. Uh, I think even Apple underestimated the demand they there did. would be for this phone, and it's still puzzling to me that there is such demand, so much more than some other phone. <clears throat> One of the guys uh, that was there this morning, he asked if he could buy an iPad, and they didn't even they didn't even have those in stock. Really? Yeah. Wow. So they're still running behind on the iPad. Why is it, it's not accepting? I must be misremembering how to set this up on an iPhone. Don't I just use Exchange to set up the Google Sync, or do I use Gmail? That's setting up a mail account. You should be able to if you have a Gmail that has your contacts. Yeah. You should be able to go in and... I thought I had to set it up as an exchange server as no, opposed I would, to... I would set it up as Gmail because now you can actually go in and it'll, it'll say... It'll know better? It knows. Okay, let me see what happens here. Full contacts. It's a little smarter than it used to be. Because that was kind of counterintuitive that you would set up your Gmail account as an exchange. Okay. Well, maybe not. Mail, calendars, and notes. Do you want to try setting up the account with SSL? Yes, I do. The IMAP server is not responding. Oh, boy. You know, <laughs> maybe if you don't activate this thing, it really doesn't want to do anything. <laughs> it doesn't want to do it over Wi-Fi, I think. Yeah, this is what I was doing was the... Um, the m.google.com through Microsoft Exchange. Uh, that's I've done that before, and uh, it wasn't doing it. And I suspect it is because it's not an activated phone. It really doesn't even want to participate in any way with my crazy plans. Live coverage of the iPhone 4 launch is brought to you by our friends at Slingbox. Use Slingbox to watch your favorite TV shows when you're away from home. To find an in-store demo at a Best Buy near you, visit slingbox.com. S-L-I-N-G-B-O-X. Really a great, wonderful thing, especially if you've got an iPhone or a Nexus One. I think BlackBerry, any Android, uh, BlackBerry, and, of course, Mac and Windows iPod Touch with Wi-Fi, too. Anywhere you are, even across uh, the world or just uh, next door. As long as you can get online, you can see your, your television set up. I can't face... Oh, yeah, Paul. Paul, I think... Paul might have gotten a uh, phone. I think he was gonna. Just looking at what applications. It's been so long. Catan. Settlers of Catan. There's a good iPhone app for that. It's the only way anybody will play with me. <laughs> CNN Mobile. Yeah, that was, that was a pretty good app, although it had ads in it, I think, didn't it? Crosswords, love that. What happens with games when you play uh, games that are for the other resolution? Are they smaller screen or they uh, they uh, pixel double or uh, let me put some games on here and see. I don't think it's pixel doubling. It looks normal. Does it? Yeah. I mean, it's just not terribly sharp, but... Huh. You know. Okay, so they There's must do... Solitaire. What game is that? Solitaire. Okay. They must... Uh, oh, what do they wonder what they do. They scale it? And it's not like an intricate game. I did find a little trick with the, um, the iPhone 4. If you, if you need a quick flashlight, 
you can actually go in and, <laughs> and use your. Uh, oh, you turn on the flash. Turn it on and use. That's them. a much better flashlight. How are you doing that? You actually, don't have to pay ninety nine cents for that one. Yeah, you? you go into the uh, the camera and you turn on the flash. video, and you can actually uh, enable make it. Make the flash turn on. Do you have to take it. a video while you're doing? No, it? you can just leave it there without taking a. Video. Oh, that's great. That's a that's a good use, and that's pretty bright. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, Foursquare, Gowalla, Bright Kite, what do you use? Foursquare. You're a Foursquare guy, huh? Yeah. yeah. All right, I'm going to put Foursquare on. I use them all. You know, I've been using is a check.in, which checks you in all three. Yeah, do they, they have an app yet, or is that just No, on? it's just a website. But, you know, if you make it, a, it's, it looks kind of like an app. All right, here's a tap defense, you know. Oh, that looks pretty nice. Yeah, and that's I'm pretty sure that's not upgraded. That looks very nice. Which game is that? Tap defense. Tap defense. It's a good tower defense game. I haven't tried that one. I'll have to try. Oh, it. it's addictive. Oh, they all are. I mean, I yeah. love those tower <laughs> defense games. But um, now, what do you use? IM Plus or Beehive? I have Beehive. I I, I have IM Plus, but I've I don't ever really use it. Uh, yeah, it's the only one with an iPad app, so that's the one I'm kind of used to. Did you get one of the little bumpers for your phone? No, I didn't. Hey. I, that it's seems like a ripoff. I got one. I left it. What do you think? Problem. You don't. You, you're not using it. Well, I forgot it. I didn't Apparently, it. I that'll help would. with the it... dropped call thing. Right. Yeah, I think it, it does. It insulates. And it would keep your glass. You know how these are kind of on top of the phone. I think it would probably protect it. So, so no gunk would get in there. Yeah. You think? Yeah. And if you did drop it. How well? Good. Oh yeah, a little bit. Yeah. How well sealed is that? Uh, it's it's actually it's really good. Um, it's got the rubber seal around the back and the front. You know the only opening. Pretty much is your headphone jack and the you know the speakers in the bottom. So. I think there was one guy. Um, I think it was yesterday. He actually bought his phone. He had it one hour and dropped it, and it cracked back. <laughs> it actually cracked. Well, that's sad. I think that probably happens a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Especially when you first get it, I think you're a little more likely to, to drop it because you're not used to yeah, it and its weight it. and it's how it feels. And I think it's uh, not <clears throat> not such a hard thing to do to accidentally uh, drop it. Last year, um, when the 3GS came out, um, I had a lady at the Apple store. She just bought her phone, was walking out to the parking lot to get in her car, dropped her phone <laughs> in the parking lot and it cracked the screen. She went back into Apple to see if they would help her. And they said, oh, the only thing we can do is sell you a new phone for oh. 700 bucks." Oh. And luckily, one of the employees there um, had one of our cards, and he said, try this guy. He may have the parts. That's a good thing. It's it lucky. Is. It's yeah. really lucky. Because it was uh, what? How much did it cost? Um, 85 Yeah, on the on that one at the time, 3GS, we did it for 125 because uh, the parts were a little higher back then. Uh, but, I mean, it saved her, you know, $600. Because yeah. they were only thing, the only option she had is buy a new phone. Right. <clears throat> oh, she was happy. Are you kidding? Yeah, she was. Yeah. I'm gonna put boo, 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 audio boo back on here. Ball, ball, audio boo, boo. I gotta find Tweety, Tweety. Where's Tweety? Do do, boo, boo. Sonos controller. I like that. Where's my Tweety? Hmm. Star Wars: The Force Unleashed stands. I like. Put the Kindle on there already. Yeah, you know, it's annoying to me how some apps will port over everything you need to just launch it and it keeps working has all your account information and then other apps it's it's as if you've never installed it before you really just go re-enter all of your i uh, wonder if that's because of how it um stores the information you know whether it stores it in mm -hmm. i don't know and i presume that this is smart enough not to be offering me ipad also all your mail passwords have to be re-entered which i think is probably a good thing just in case what about your female passwords there need to be re-entered too as well <laughs> okay no special treatment oh we rule gotta put that on there now are, are you a weather channel or a weather bug user weather bug you prefer the bug well yeah i do now especially because in the ipad weather bug is great yeah uh, and i on, have weather actually bug on the elite. on the phone though i use a uh, web link to noaa to the NOAA website. You like the NOAA site. And I just could get it straight from the source. Interesting. I'm going to leave Wobble Premium off. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's probably synced to a different phone. Although I don't think you can get that anymore. I'm pretty lucky that I actually still have my 